Okay, well, it's the next day. Uh, the last time we, uh, the last time I did some filming, I was working on the, uh, on this uh, drain for the clawfoot tub. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install this toilet. So I'm using a little bit of a different type of flange this time. Uh, these are quite a bit more expensive, but because of what I was left with the plumbing, kind of the same, uh, I was left with an oddball. And over here I did a modification because I didn't want, again, uh, to rip up the floor and change everything. So I came up with this, um, excuse me, this uh, toilet flange. And it's the, the kind that's, uh, it's not glued in place, but it's sealed with the rubber. So the uh, whole point is you can slip this in inside and uh, and once it's in the rubber makes the seal and then you can turn it adjust it to wherever you want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put this in and put a little bit of soap on there to try to make it life a little bit easier all right get back here get a little bit of this hand soap on here yeah I'm going to drop this in the hole and this rubber should slide perfectly inside uh, the other pipe. And if I twist it gently, there, she's all the way down now. So what I got to do now, it's, it's all the way down and the rubber makes the seal. So then it's just a matter of putting my bolts in. And because it's not glued, it's kind of forgiving. I can, uh, I can then turn this back around until it's fairly square. Uh, maybe something like that. And then one, once I know it's square, uh, it does get fastened down. Once I know I've got it in position, uh, I can then screw it down to the to the floor so that when I jack uh, the bolt and the toilet together, it'll suck the uh, it'll suck the toilet right down onto the onto the ring. So I think that's pretty good there. I'm gonna drive some screws in here, and then I'm gonna throw on one of these wax seal rings. And uh, that should do it. Drop the toilet in place. Uh, it should still fit because nothing here has really changed except for this area that was boxed in, but uh, that shouldn't affect anything. And uh, my water supply, I put a valve on here. That's all ready to go. So let's see if we can get this toilet in, uh, make our lives a little bit better in this old house. Okay. Okay, well, just like that, uh, I threw the wax ring on there. I threw the toilet on. I just got to tighten up the two foundation bolts and hook up the water line, check for leaks, and we got ourselves a toilet. And uh, all of a sudden the plumbing is not as critical because I I knew it was going to be kind of hidden, although it's exposed. Uh, I mean, this bathroom is little. There was There's no way of making it bigger. We're just trying to improve it a little bit. Anyway. There's a toilet, so kind of halfway there. Okay. Okay, so our toilet is in. That's good. Now I'm going to move on to the vanity. And the vanity is the beadboard style. It's an Ikea vanity. And it's the silver one. So I'm just looking at my instructions right now. Um, again, this is a tiny vanity because... This is a tiny bathroom, and uh, obviously we would have liked something much bigger, much nicer, but we just don't have the space here. So this, uh, with its slim profile, I think it'd be perfect for this little room. So right now I'm just in the middle of uh, trying to do the installation. I've made a couple measurements on the back wall, and that's because, like all good IKEA products, this comes with uh, this adjustable device which will allow the vanity to move in and out and up and down. So it's pretty, pretty good stuff. And of course, uh, one of these on each side 
And these have to be fastened to, well, they'll, these will ride on this bracket. I've just kind of marked, made a, a center, a center mark here. So I'm going to mount these somewhere here. And then, uh, that vanity should be able to basically clip onto the wall. And then with these screws, be able to make the, uh, with these, be able to make the adjustment for up and down. Because, uh, you know, this is, oh, excuse the noise, this is a hundred year old house, but, uh, and uh, the floor does have a little bit of a slope to it. And that's what drove me crazy about the old bathroom is they had plunked the vanity down and, and the mirror and everything was leaning this way. So I'm gonna put, make everything square and straight uh, and in line, hopefully, with the uh, IKEA light fixture. So that's the Sodersvik. And this is the Silveron. And this is what makes my IKEA bathroom an IKEA bathroom. Because everything else, obviously, 100 year old clawfoot tub, I'm just repurposing that. And same with the toilet, repurposing all this. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to drive these into the wall and hopefully I measured right. And if I did, I should be able to pick up this vanity and literally clip it on. And then after that, there's other little fasteners down here that I can uh, mount to the wall to make it even more secure. Now I've made it so, uh, because this vanity comes with no legs, it's fully uh, wall hung. I'm going to kind of make it so the back corner, at least on one corner, uh, because like I said, the floor has a bit of a slope to it. At least one corner, I would like to sit on that baseboard just for added support. So let's get these brackets installed uh, and see if I have any success with this. Okay, so here's our silver and vanity in place. And it's anchored to the wall, but it's still, it's off a little bit. The doors are not quite right. And I got a level on here. And because I did have a slope in the floor, I'm going to have to compensate a little bit. Although this is hanging off the wall, I did take my measurements from the baseboard. So this little adjustment right here, I hope you can see that. I think it's this one here. Put a screwdriver in this one. I can lower. See, I'm lowering the vanity. It makes it worse. But I can go, put you where you can see there. I'm going to turn this clockwise, clockwise, and you can see the vanity is raising up, raising up, raising up. How's our level? It's getting better. It's getting better. A couple more hairs. Turn, turn, clockwise a little bit, coming up, coming up. Oh, our bubble is just about perfect. So that's the beauty of Ikea is it's kind of forgiving. Although it did not come with the mounting hardware. I got some wood screws driven in here because there's a stud. Uh, on the other side, I used wall anchors. So I've got to be a little bit more careful that you don't pull those out of the wall. But anyway, vanity, the silverin is now hung. Eh, I mean, it's... Let's face it, this is nothing to write home about, this vanity. But for a room as small as this one, I think it will kind of fit. So, level in the middle. And I'm going to, there's other fasteners that are going to go down here now. And they are, there's these ones here. And it's almost it's kind of like a locking device of some sort. You sort of put that in, I think. I'll have to consult my instructions again one more time. Let's see, what is this saying? Okay, so we've got this part done. There's the bottom there. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You have to put this on top. I'm not sure if that's the screw or not, but you, you kind of use this as a... Kind of finds the... It locates the uh, 
It's kind of like a washer, really. You put the screw up in here and you drive that in. These ones are in a stud, so that's going to go really well. I'm going to drive that right in there. On the other side, I may have to do the wall anchor thing. Down here, I mean, I may have to do the wall anchor. But uh, let's get this one in place. And then we'll carry on with the, with the sink. All right. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, on this side, I had full lumber. It was this side that had the lumber, so I just put a, uh, I put that little uh, washer piece, and I just drove a wood screw in there, so that's nice and secure. On this side, down here, no lumber, so I put a wall anchor in, so the screws are different from one side to the other, but so be it. Nice and sturdy, level. Let's move on to the sink. Okay, well, here is the... Uh, the base and top, the Lillengen, so this is the uh, the IKEA top that goes with this little vanity. Uh, the Lilsvan, Lilsvan, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're learning Swedish here today. That's the tap set, so I think I'm going to install the tap set on here first. And then there's the Rinnen, Rinnen is the drain system, which is all over here. And uh, that's what we're going to hook up to my existing plumbing. So let's uh, let's get the tap set installed. Let's get the tap set installed on this. Then we'll silicone this bowl down to the uh, down to the cabinet. And uh, yeah, let's see how that makes out. It looks okay. Okay, a little bit later. Here's our vanity top. I think it looks good. Kind of neat. Nice tap. A little bit funky. And underneath, I had to modify the plumbing just a little bit. Because, of course, I had made everything perfectly centered, but uh, because the tap sits way over here, I just had to uh, cut my pipe and turn it. So kind of sits like that, that's okay. Uh, and the funky IKEA plumbing, it's almost, because they make these things like zero clearance, so it comes all the way over here, down to a gooseneck. Now I just need to put, I need to put a union here that I don't have, but so I just need this junction here. Uh, and this is all standard adaptable stuff. Uh, and that's it for that. Got the little the little magnet uh, pieces. I got those installed, and I do have a shelf that goes in here. It's just not installed yet, but that's where the shelf is going to be. That's our vanity, floating vanity. Uh, still got to put the mirror up. Still got to work on the shower head and the ring assembly. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. Ooh, nice. I like that. Now, to put this ring in, one person. Uh, it's going to be interesting. All right. Okay. Well, here's our ring installed. Uh, just put the two halves together, slipped it over this pipe, and I've got one hanger uh, holding the ring up. So the kit came, there's supposed to be two hangers, but the one for here, that just does not work for my application, unfortunately. So there's only going to be the one, so I hope it's not too, hope it's not too rickety. Uh, if it turns out that it's too rickety, I may just have to put a little wall bracket over here or something, something to give it a little bit of support because this rod here again is too short. Uh, even this way it wouldn't work. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the one for now because that's all that fits. And there's the ring. Uh, it's fairly, eh, it's a little wonky because it's, it's got a lot of flex to it, but it's good. Already tried it even. Water on. Okay. 
Yeah, we got us a shower. Got us a working shower. Happy about that. Now, I don't know, like I said, I got a bit of a concern about the ring. It's not really meant to be messed with, but anyway. Okay. Uh, moving on to the vanity mirror now. Okay, well the Silveron mirror is in place. Very simple, very linear, very white. And just for the fun of it, I went and bought this little tub caddy. So a little touch of wood. Uh, didn't really want the wood look, but this one has the little folding. I got this at my local hardware store. Yeah, room for your drink, your your razors, you can put a book there, laptop, whatever. So I thought that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, I don't know how durable this is going to be, but it doesn't matter. Kind of looks good right now and handy because in the old bathroom, we had the rail all around. We had the rail where we used to keep all our soaps and bottles and that, and now we do not have that. So yeah, so I got this done. Uh, the mirror is in, the vanity is in, still got a few little touch-ups to do uh, where I dinged up the corner when I was maneuvering the tub. I, I modified this original baseboard a little bit, so I'll have to come back and do some touch-ups. And the next thing I got to do now is I got to address this whole built-in, which I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I'm just simply going to take these knobs off. I'm going to clean, I'm going to repaint and put the knobs back on. I've got to fix up this trim a little bit, touch up this yellow, touch up this yellow. And then on this upper part here, I think what I want to do, you can see the old plaster is all weathered and cracked. Uh, I think the plan is, and my plans very often change, but right now the plan is to remove these doors and I've got some tongue and groove, uh, bead, I got some beadboard paneling and I want to do the, have these shelves open and have the beadboard paneling inside. So that'll kind of echo the, the beadboard paneling of the vanity. That's how, I think that's how I'm going to tie it in because I did not do any other wainscoting or that. I abandoned that idea. But these old doors, they're jammed in paint. They're kind of rickety. And you know, there's probably a hundred layers of paint on there. So I, I, you know, and behind here, it's ugly. It's all crackled. So the best thing to do is I'm going to take some of that uh, pine um, wainscoting board and I'm going to uh, staple and glue right above this. And then I'm either going to leave it natural wood or paint it white. That I haven't decided yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, plan for now. Let's get these doors down. See what we're working with. Uh, see if this is feasible. And let's attack this little area up here. Okay. Okay, so th this took no time at all. Um, maybe 15 minutes. I got this whole area with the doors and the shelves gutted. So, um, let's start rebuilding. I'm going to start jumping in. I'm going to start doing the, uh, the beadboard. All right. So this is the look I'm going for, for inside the open uh, area. Uh, I'll bring you back in once, uh, once I got it done. Okay. Well, we have a completed bathroom. Um, the last I left off, the last you saw, I was working on these built-ins. And this is what I ended up with. So of course, the drawers are unchanged. I just scuffed them up and painted them. I took the knobs off, cleaned everything up, fresh coat of paint on everything. And with my paneling in the back, I decided to remake all new shelves. And I decided to leave a little bit of a wood accent. Uh, I wasn't going to, uh, I certainly never planned on this, uh, but after I bought this little tub caddy that you've already seen, 
Uh, I thought that the little touch of wood kind of looked half decent in here, so I thought, why not play it up with, why not play it up with a touch of wood? And uh, if we ever did get sick of it, it would certainly be easy to slap some white paint back there and make that all white. That would also look good, but I thought this was a little bit interesting. So uh, I'm going to go with this look for now. Uh, vanity is in and hooked up and operational, and that looks good. Uh, again, it's very tiny, very slim, but uh, this kind of ideal for the for the small room that we had here. Uh, this bathroom is absolutely tiny, but uh, you know we had to work within the footprint we had. There was no way of making it bigger. Um, yeah, so th this works quite nice. Mirror looks good as does the light. So this, of course, here, this is what makes this the Ikea bathroom, is uh, the vanity, the basin top, the tap, the mirror, and the overhead light, or sorry, the, the light above the mirror. Uh, this is all Ikea product, very nice, very well built, uh, and, and they all match, and it all looks really, really good together. Uh, wall heater, good nice to have some uh, external heat here now um, works really well uh, only a 110 heater but for a room this size it gives off plenty of heat uh, all the baseboards are done like you've already seen everything has been touched up the caulking has been fixed up uh, all the little touch-ups on the walls have been uh, done as you saw the tub is good to go the ring is in uh, the only thing I got to do now is I'm going to throw a couple of shower curtains up around this ring. And uh, this project is now done. Project is done. Uh, not true. I got to clean that window. A couple of paint splatters that I got to scrape off. But everything else is done. Everything else is functional. It looks pretty good. Uh, it is a tiny room, but... We knew that come in, going into it, we were well aware. Um, I'm happy with the results, and uh, yeah, very small. See, it's even hard to it's hard to get good footage in here because the room is so small. But uh, glad we kept the old tub. It is a little bit cramped here, but again, what can you do? It's functional. Uh, the old waste pipe is now concealed. Uh, we've got ventilation now. We've got that extra light. Uh, we've got a nice new shower head. New ring. Uh, it's a nice little bathroom. All right. Uh, I want to thank everyone for following along with me on this little project. Uh, it was a small room, but it was quite a bit of work. So thanks for watching. Uh, We'll catch you on the next project.